Yeah, we'd have to agree with you. But uh, Coastline as the decider, there's a chance we might not even get there. Yeah, we could potentially not see Coastline at all if that comes to it. Um, I'd be very disappointed. I want another three map. I love it when it goes all the way. Yeah, so. and, you know, Coastline has also become one of my most favourite maps as well. But we're going to see Clubhouse back-to-back -back here. We certainly are. And as we do get into the ban phase, Mantis on their first ban. Uh, Fav Gaming on the attack. Mantis on the defence straight up. So what did we see Mantis ban last time? They uh, did not ban the Claz. We saw them ban uh, Habana last time they played this map. And that's something I said shaped the way the whole map went. Yes, I think a Habana ban is incredibly impactful on Clubhouse, particularly on that defence. Uh, on the basement defense, sorry. So yep. it can it can really reshape the attack and a Thatcher ban. Yeah, that's interesting. It's something we saw Orglis like to pull out quite a bit, but uh, and you know then when we saw some of the later maps, it was like you know Thatcher makes so some of this stuff so much easier. Here's Fav banning Echo, and we saw how much damage Nova did with that Echo. That is a great ban in my opinion. Yep, I think that's a good ban as well. It's a nice targeted ban as well as being a very strong ban you and know, the Valk gets taken off. I was writing down what bans were coming out and instead of writing an Echo, I wrote Nova without even thinking, but <laughs> I still think that's pretty apt. They're, they're, they're synonymous <laughs> now. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, but one thing I was also going to point out is that Nora Rango also perma, perma ban Echo. That is their perma ban operator. So yes. Looks like uh, that Fav are favouring that thought on this map as well. But uh, one thing Monty. that we didn't mention is, yeah, the Monty. Now, we saw um, it come out earlier against Aero Wolf, and we, Dev was harping on and on and on and on about how um, he has an inkling that uh, Mantis have some interesting Monty strats. Yeah, well, it would be, you know, Fav playing the attack first, so uh, they're going back to their tried and tested, of course. In the clubhouse match between Fav and Aerowolf, Monty had a 100% pick rate. Yes. He was there every single round. So, um, Fav are not going to shy away from him, and I think Mantis need to be prepared for that, and I think they should have they should have definitely prepared something for it if they were going to clubhouse. Yeah, I, you know, I want to say that both these ja uh, these teams, the Japanese and the Korean team, both have like a, a player that plays a support role that can still frag out a ton. It's Envy Taylor and, of course, Oda Miso for Fav. Yeah, it certainly is. So, Odin Miso, I've actually, I was actually really impressed with him in the uh, in the first series. Uh, him and Afro definitely did their work for Fab, and I think they're definitely the reason that Fab got this far. So, it'll be interesting to see exactly how they go. One thing I didn't get a chance to ask you, Monkey, prediction. Yes. Who do you think is going to go to the Invitational? Let's oh. hear it, and let's hear why. Well, I've been saying it's close, but I'm favouring Mantis. That's what I've been saying, but I'm not going to change it. You're not going to change it? All right, yeah. stick to your guns. It's a good idea. Yeah. So i am actually been... I've been favouring Fav. I think they look cleaner on their uh, on their victory, uh, and I think that their opponent put up a much better fight, so Fav had to work harder to get here. So I think that Fav had a stronger performance to get here, so I'm going to favour them. Yeah, and just look how quickly uh, we got Type On going into the garage. Oh, that's oh a no. lot of information there. Is that going to be a C4? No, he's going to no, no, hold it, actually. That's oh, it's indestructible yes. floor, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I thought that was elsewhere at first as well, but no, he's uh, so it's going to be fine there for the most part. It's only if a uh, C4 comes up through the hatch once it's been opened. Yes, and this Monty Type On slowly pushing his way across. They're really taking their time to drone all this out. There hasn't been any roamers out of Fav Gaming, and yet it's been a full minute, and they haven't cleared the top floor. Yeah, well, you know, they're just being thorough. Of course, when we saw Dev and I watching this map uh, earlier, it was a very heavy anchor that Mantis defended twice very successfully on uh, this bomb site. so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a bit of a repeat in that regards of Mantis. Very heavy anchor hold, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's also very successful. It's a red dot on the ITA. That is something you don't see very often. It, it, I suppose it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I suppose it doesn't really matter at all, does it? So, you know, we are going to see Envy Taylor on this lesion. He is going to get trackled, Ooh. and away he goes. That C4 just misses. Type, a, uh, type, type on takes a little bit of damage. Yeah, that's a lot of info gathered here by Sweet Black. He's got four pings, I think, on the uh, heartbeat scanner here. Yeah, but he is getting trackled as well. So, 
They know exactly where he is. Not that he really minds sitting behind that reinforced wall at this point. Whoa. Nova gets the first kill. K Rays is going to get dropped. That's the first way. That's the first kill for this series being opened. And that's Zofia being taken off the board. Yeah, it's the toss of the smoke, babe, down the hallway there by Hetty. Yep. Afro and Taipon both get tagged. Ooh. Afro gets taken out by MV Taylor. Odin Miso puts a couple of shots down but finds nothing. Taipon gets taken below half health and Odin Miso as well gets taken down below. Oh. Odin Miso, is he downed? I don't think he is. Taipon is down though. Odin Miso, a very slither of health. That must be one HP. MV Taylor gets the kill onto Odin Miso. That's the Thermite being taken off the board, and that leaves it all up to Shin. But it's not going to happen. Odin Miso actually down type on himself. So that is a team kill going over to him. And first round, very comfortably to Mantis FPS. Yeah, as I said, a complete anchor on that basement bomb site. They held that down. Yeah, it was also... um. I really don't think that uh, Fav really had anything to crack open that defense, though. You know, they sort of all just walked down the center stairs. Yeah. Like, you know, when you're funneling into that one section, like, you're just going to get end up getting mowed down. Like, I, you need to find a, a different way to attack. You need to I find really, a flank going through as well. I think what their attack really depended on was the Monty, and he just didn't really do anything at all, did he? No, I don't think he really did anything either. He didn't. He didn't get his objectives cleared. You know, he he did clear the top floor. He did clear the middle floor around, but it took them so long. But by that time happened, he couldn't just push his way through. Like it, he just sort of ended up having to sit there at the bottom of the stairwell, just looking at the gas babes being lobbed at him. Yeah, I, I really think that Fav were expecting some kind of roam. But if they watched the series beforehand, they should know that there wouldn't it's be any. Not going to happen. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's, it's really interesting. Um, it's really interesting to see that happen, and it was really slow take by Fav as well. Yes. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the speed of that take. I think that definitely played into a factor of how long that game took. But I mean, I think better slower and safe than sorry. Like, yeah, like that, it's not like they didn't get to the objective at all. They got to the objective. It's just that's when they uh, fell down. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. And they just couldn't push their way in. You know, we saw, we saw four of them just standing at the entrance of that main hall and they just got mowed down by the crossfire. Yeah, it's, that's um, also another important part of that whole strategy. Envy Taylor playing, you know, just outside the racks in the, the A-bomb site. Open up the wall with an impact grenade, and he had three players right for the picking. Of course, he only got one, but, uh, you know, it's just putting the pressure on denying that wall into church. Yeah, and that's all they really did. They just denied that way in. Of course, no Thatcher either. So it's really hard to get rid of those bandits. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you can technically do it with, like, a buck or sledge grenade, something like that. But um, I think it's really, really awkward. Uh, it's just really awkward to try and get that wall open. Without a therm or without a Thatcher, so I think they have to rethink their strategy. They have to rethink how they're going to push this. Yeah, definitely. Like they can't be doing that strategy without a Thatcher on the board. I have to agree with that. So I, I think you know if they're going to go back to basement, which guaranteed they will at some okay, point. I you know, I, I think they're definitely going to end up um, having to change their attack strategy. But for now, we are back up in the CCTV room and cash room. Dragon, we got another seven zero on our hands. <laughs> um, I hope not. <laughs> well, we, we just saw one on this map. Why not another? Because <laughs> uh, I have faith in Fab game. Yeah, yeah, no, I'd have to agree. It's uh, pretty so, unlikely to be a 7 0. Actually, while I was off the desk and uh, you and Dev were holding down the fort, um, I actually learned something yes, that Fab Gaming actually stands for. Fun and victory. Yes, fun <laughs> and yeah, I knew victory. That. I knew that. I did not. I, I only worked that out when I was outside talking to them. Now, um, Jess, the Japanese translator, told told us earlier. Well, oh. and I was standing behind them watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to ruin your thunder. What does it spoil your thunder? Yeah, <laughs> Say it before uh, you. That's, yeah, I don't blame you. For that. <laughs> fair enough. Steal your thunder. That's yeah. that's, that's the same. <laughs> but no, so. Yeah, very interesting uh, to find that out. And, you know, I think these guys are definitely having fun. Well, they've already got a victory as well, so... Well, yeah. just not a round victory yet. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Going to be opening up that whole wall. I'm uh, just No glass this time to sit there, but Shin is still going to be sitting there on that jackal, though. I'm just still surprised that the... the um, the Maverick can sit there and, like, on the wall but not get shocked. Like, I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> yeah, it's always been a little bit odd to me as well. 
Um, really maybe it's something to do with the repel animation. I'm not sure. You know this weapon skin that uh, Odin Misa has is Pro League Season 1 weapon skin. Reno! Pro League Season 1. Yeah, Thermite weapon skin. Oh no, because I have it on PS4, just not on PC. Because that's where I started my <laughs> career off. But yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely a legacy skin. It's, you know, it's by attackers. something that's not available right now. But uh, let's focus back on this, because Sweet Black is just going to find K-Razor. And, uh, you know, he's the first casualty once again. He literally just shotgun him as he walked in. But Sweet Black taking a ton of damage. Envy Taylor, though, going to take out Odin Miso while well, that happens. That puts it into the 3v5. Shin's been taken really low, and Typhon's been taken to half health as well. Has this break perhaps made Fav Gaming a bit complacent? Because they have not looked great in the uh, round and a half we've seen so far. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely, they're not quite as warmed up as maybe as they thought they were. And they have a lot of work they have to catch up on him. Well, they are at the disadvantage in this one health-wise and, of course, man count-wise. So, uh, I don't know. Oh, what, that, at what point do you say... From Hedy. Yeah. At what point do you say this round's a write-off? Like, of course, they're going to try till the very end, but... Uh, I think you can't say it at this point. No. Like, you can't say it at this point. 45 seconds left. And now it's probably the point where you say it, where yeah. your healthiest man just gets headshotted. But Shin comes around, yeah, picks on. up one. Taipon's trying to make his way in, but Never Nova's mind. got something to say about it. And Nova Double. takes out Shin as well. And Mantis pick up the second round in a row. <laughs> oh, they lined up for him perfectly there. Oh, that's a feels that's bad, rough. man, isn't yeah. it? That's rough, but, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles, especially when you're at a complete man disadvantage like that. So, 2-0 up for Mantis now, and I must admit they have looked a lot stronger at this point. Yeah, well, I suppose uh, Fav could have also been expecting a gym bedroom, because that's what we saw last matchup. Mantis uh, took basement, and then they went to gym bedroom, and then they went to cash. So I think maybe Fav were kind of expecting that uh, bomb site to be coming out, but uh, we're going to see a change up here. Twitch coming out for the sick pick. Yeah, very very interesting. So they're going to gym bedroom. They know that they have to go to this bomb site. I think it's also to counter the mirror Fav because the mirror wasn't being down at all. Bombs as they can. Mm, but mirrors not exactly necessary. Like mirror could have been. Like six pick off, or it's, it's the only reason why I'd think that bring a twitch, right? Just to counter the mirror. Like, of course, great gun. Bandit batteries. Bandit batteries. So yeah, no gonna Thatcher. Counter, you're going to counter the bandit batteries that's on a decent that point. west yep. wall. So uh, you're going to counter the batteries on uh, the bandits on that west wall, and uh, I think that's pretty much the sole reason for it. So they can open up that west wall into the hallway and push their way in from there. But a shield there to cover off the logistics office. I kind of like that. Yeah, that's something we saw Mantis do as well. They uh, have Nova was sitting behind there with a pixely peak right up to the hatch to try and deny any logistics uh, pressure at all. Uh, yep, nice hold for them as well. And I think this is definitely going to be a really strong hold. They've got, uh, they've got everything they need to succeed here. And that's actually a very interesting mirror be holding the side of course it might be able to stop the plant from behind the bomb if they walk in through uh, the construction yeah well Fav are wasting no time already up onto Jacuzzi balcony gonna get that uh, Maverick opening up I'm with you here he should be getting shocked hey yeah it must be something to do with the repel animation that's the only thing I can think of or the fact that they're not on the ground maybe they're not grounded <laughs> But like, surely that's not it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a little, it's a weird interaction, but an interaction nonetheless. So um, make full use of it, I guess, while you have it. Okay, Razor just holding some very tight angles. Make sure no one's going to come for their flank. You know, it really feels like this um, bomb site Fav have gotten nice up and close very quickly. So yeah, they certainly have, and you know. Chin's Twitch Whoa, drones, if he's not careful. It's been spotted. Yep, yeah, he does get it out. Hedy not letting his uh, not letting his Black Mirror get ejected. Just yet. There should be another Twitch drone unless Chin's already lost it. Of course. Oh, and they're taking, they're taking this fight. Oh, oh, that is a pixel peak. Odin Miso not feeling comfortable enough to go after it. Can't blame him, to be honest. No. Nah. MV Taylor wants it, though. He's looking for the fight. Not going to find anything and just head back to his mirror. 
It really feels like Fav have been stalled out now, haven't they? Yeah, they they've got that uh, they got that wall open really quickly and really efficiently, but that was about it. Shin gets the first kill though, so his black's gonna drop for the first time in a while. Fav Gaming have the man oh, advantage. That's a free. And that's oh, a free one. Shin taking back. out Heady. Taipon takes out Nova as well. This defense is falling apart for Mantis as three people drop down in the logistics office. Nilio is sitting alone oh, nice. in that gym. Oh, oh, nice. Nilio gets the, kit that gets the TK. Shin's going to take NMV Taylor. Nilio, Nilio puts one on the board, but Shin puts an end to it. Wow. And Fav come up with their first win in a messy, messy display. What a round. <laughs> that was exciting. So many people dropped into the logistics office. That... And the smoke was covering it. Your own smoke. Yep. Oh, that's a feels bad, man, isn't yep. it? Yep. So many people dropped into the logistics office. Too many people because one had to get TK'd. <laughs> so, you know. Of course. Did a TK happen in the last series? I was going to say... I don't uh, yeah, I don't no, no, no. We had, we had a couple. There was a double TK. A double TK. Yeah. Okay. Like... Two kills right at the same time of a team kill. A two on four against match point. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're going to TK, go big or go home, right? Like, <laughs> I think um, Arrowwolf, Arrowwolf TK'd like four times in their series against Fav earlier today. Yes. And Defenders I like you will believe Fav have already had a team exactly. kill as well. That downed... Uh, yep. I was going to say it was Odin Miso on the... Yep, Odin Miso down type on. Yeah. Yep. But so. I'm a bit worried for Fav Gaming because we're going back to this downstairs bomb site, which has been very dominant for Mantis. Yeah, they they need to come up with something else here, in my opinion. They need to split. Maybe have Monty and one other person push dirt, have someone push blue or oil pit, and maybe then someone else down a hatch, see if they can't pick people off there through rotates. I think that needs to be how they do it, but that, that Monty... Like the whole team can't just funnel down through the main stairs in my like in my opinion. They need to push in through somewhere else. They have to. There's I think blue might be that border call. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I think dirt tunnel's just too hard to contest with these days. Like um, I suppose you could use your Monty for it, but normally it's best done with glass and smokes. And you know, the only other option I feel is blue. Which is still pretty hard to get into, but I think Blue's a bit easier in the fact that it's a uniform shaped room, not yep. the wind the windy tunnel of uh, dirt. Well, you know, back in the back in the the Monty Strat days you had Monty push down uh, dirt and then you had Blackbeard push down the blue tunnel. And you'd end off having a pincer from between those two. Yeah. Oh but <laughs> type on. Well aware of Nilio's potential position at the top of the uh, blue stairs. Yep, and Nilio well aware that they're coming and he just pieces out. He didn't want any of that. He heard that Monty's <laughs> footsteps and was like, nope. Afro is holding a, uh, a very tight angle. Yes, that's a very tight angle indeed. Taipon just going to go drone out, see what they can find. But they have, a, this has been a lot more efficient, I think, in uh, Fab's taking of the map. Yeah, actually, I think it's very well coordinated, isn't it? Sweet Black is trying to see if he can get a C4 off when that hatch gets blown, but uh, Fav Gaming just back right on up. Don't want to give him the opportunity. Yeah, no, and you can't blame them, but Monty pushing down this main stairs again. We'll have to see if anyone else is joining them. Odin Miso, he's only got one Thermite charge left. He's going to try and use it on this hatch. He doesn't want to be impact or c 4 MV Taylor, of course, is sitting there to try and impact trick it off. Potentially. Have located a bomb. Potentially. And there's the first gas, babe. They still have a minute five oh. left. The C4 comes out. Ooh. He Top actually on. removed his shield for that. That's why he took a lot more damage than what he should have. Lucky to be alive. Yeah, he actually dropped his shield, hey. Looks like Afro's made his way into Dirt Tunnel, but uh, I think Envy's quite aware, aware of that because the Goomon was just stuck in the... Uh, the leg of Afro. Yep, so they're going to know he's there. We're going to know someone's there at least. And Oh, they're going to go quick into the... Uh, oh. 
the big MB box Taylor, fight. Taylor, he could be in trouble, but Nova's covering him off as K-Razor gets dropped. Oh. MB Taylor's going to find Type on now. And that Monty has been taken care of. Afro gets one, Odin Miso trades off another. MB Taylor picks himself off a second as these kills are coming in fast and furious. Odin Miso is going to find the head of Sweet Black. Oh, he is on site by his own Shin with a slither of health. Oh. Slowly making his way around. That's another one. MV Taylor finally gets dropped. That's his rampage taken care of. Hetty wins that gunfight, though, and that leaves it on a 1v1. Yeah, and Odin Miso knows where he is, but I think uh, Hetty does as well. And oh, Hetty! Oh, what a flick! With the quick scope. <laughs> what a flick from Hetty. Oof. And <laughs> takes him out, and in a very chaotic attempt there, Mantis just hold it off. I really like that strategy from uh, Fav, though. Yes, that was much better than their first attempt. The quick push into yes. the Arsenal room. They just needed some more support with the Monty. He yes. can't go pushing in there solo. He, if, he felt pressure. Alternatively, to if they had Diffuser in church, they could have planted. Right? Shin didn't need to push up for that final kill. I think once he took out Envy Taylor, he could have backed up a little bit. They could have planted church if they had Diffuser. But Diffuser was downed in the hallway. They didn't have control of it. They couldn't get to it in time, so they had to go for those frags. Not to mention the fact that, you know, you think, yeah, it's at, at the uh, stairs, but uh, there, we do have, who, who's the last member? Hetty. There was that rotate that they made that yeah. was looking right at the Diffuser. So pretty yeah. much they had to go for the frags, I feel. So I think if they if they had held on to the Diffuser and it hadn't died in the middle of the hallway, I think they definitely could have taken that round because I think they could have planted in the uh, uh, planted in the church. But Mantis very thanks very thankful that they had control of the Diffuser that whole time as Hetty does manage to clutch it out. But we're going back upstairs to Cash and we're still seeing Monty here. Bad gaming, really, really liking this Monty. Ooh. Ooh. You haven't seen that? No, I haven't. That's been a thing for ages, Flea. Yeah, you think I'd know about it being a mirror man, but you know. Um, <laughs> no, that's uh, that's interesting. I actually never even thought about trying that, but we'll give that a go in a game. Well, Fav immediately opening up into Garage. Not even 20 seconds have transpired, and they're about to blow open their first thermite, although. Just not yet. Just not yet. Uh, okay, we'll do it when he gets to the top. Yeah, he just, he just wanted to be in a safe spot. He didn't want, safe to be, spot. <laughs> didn't want to be run out on. Yeah, fair enough. One of my, uh, one of my absolute worst uh, fears on this map as a Thermite player is opening up the construction wall as Thermite. Yep. Because you then have to repel up from that spot. So... You have to either wait a little bit as Typhon actually whew, takes a ton of damage between that goo mine and the smoke. Yeah. So you have to either wait till you've repelled and that gives them a chance to trick it, or you literally have to take the chance that no one's going to be standing there ready to shoot oh, you as oh, soon as that wall oh, opens. Oh, 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 the timing there, Nova! Just doesn't get it. Just got to miss K Razor. Yeah. The second smoke comes out, oh. Typhon. Barely gets out. Taipon not going to be able to do that a third time. Sweet Black, though, coming under a lot of pressure from that balcony. As that crossfire is coming across, Nova needs to make his way in. He needs to do some damage soon enough. But patience is a virtue for him here. Sweet Black's going to take out Odin Miso. k a fine Sweet Black in reply, though. One for one trade. Nilio has to peace out. Shin finds Envy Taylor. Nova's still holding this angle, waiting for people to come around. Could he potentially get one as k is walking into view? They get the fight. k wins it. He actually downs him. Is anyone going to go save Nova? Nilio finds k though. Could he potentially go and revive him? No, that's going to be Hetty's job. Yeah, Hetty's got uh, free reign to do that as well. No one from uh, Fav able to capitalize and deny that. Well, that's Diffuser dropped on those stairs. Yep, but now Monty is exposed and alone. In that, uh, in that garage right now. Afro's going to rotate around and join him because he needs to uh, provide some level of pressure. And Shin's going to oh. remain on that balcony. And if they kill him here, then Taipon is in a 
very bad spot. But the plant's actually going down. Typon's trying to stop it. Will that C4 be enough? No, it won't. Hetty did find Typon, though, so that is going to stop the plant. And that leaves it up to Shin and Afro. Final 15 seconds coming down to it. Nova's going to take out Afro, so that leaves it all up to Shin. Hetty getting through it, and he finds it. Mantis coming up strong now. 4-1 lead. That was a great peek from Hetty. Look how uh, patient he is, and he's already moving back. Like, just so quick, so practiced. Yeah. He's practicing his quick peaks. QE, QE. Just needs to add a C to it. <laughs> Multiple C's. <laughs> I mean, his name isn't Walker, but... <laughs> well, we are going to be heading to the gym bedroom so he can uh, get some more of those C's in at the gym. <laughs> Squats. <laughs> Soon to be squatting like Cthulhu. <laughs> right. Well... Shin has decided to change up from the Twitch, though, and over to the Jackal. Now, we were saying, you know, he's gone Twitch to counter the mirror, and this is the bomb site that we've been seeing the mirror played, but uh, maybe it was just a comfort pick. I'm not quite sure. This, to me, says they have no way. They, they have Mavericks, so they can still open up that... Uh, they can still open up that west wall. So Maverick can destroy that, and then Thermite can go and bust the wall open. But, to me, the Jackal says that Monty and Jackal in particular are going to probably be pushing in through cash. Do you reckon maybe the Monty isn't really working for Fav? Yes. I think the Monty hasn't been that effective for Fav so far as the support players for that Monty have been picked apart yeah. by Mantis. I think that's been their biggest problem is the Monty hasn't been able to protect their support players. They haven't been able to input the same pressure that they were able to against Aerowolf as what they have against Mantis. Mantis have been able to find the picks, they've been able to find the angles to deal with the support players for the Monty. And Monty is incredibly ineffective when left on his own. Yeah, I, I suppose looking back to last round as well, though, like I really felt like Fav were in an advantageous position that they should have taken. It was like a four on two with, well, with four on three with one of the downed players, the four on two. Yeah, I feel like they definitely could have uh, if things have gone a little bit differently. Well, should have. Well, obviously shouldn't have because, you know, <laughs> Mantis picked up all the frags. So Mantis has picked up all those frags and here comes the opening of it. If he sees anyone, their feet are going to get tickled. And not quite going to see anything. So, Afro going to go and open up this other hatch now. And they're going to be ready and start taking shape for an assault. Yeah, Odomiso is going to do that upside down repel for the uh, thermite charge, of course. I'm, I'm just so surprised that these teams are allowed to get away with this. Like, no you know, impact through the uh, opening or a C4. <laughs> You can impact. Uh, you can't impact over the top of that wall yep. anymore. But just you can. It through the you could do it through the bottom, but through the Maverick, yeah. that requires some insane practice. You can throw a C4 that doesn't even have to go through the um, Maverick hole, and it'll still kill a Maverick on the other side. It's it's pretty nuts. I think you have to sort of land it right though. Like if it it's too easy to land on the wall on this side which stops the, you know, the vertical explosion. So I, I think that it needs to be something you're incredibly practiced in. And if you're not practiced in it, I don't think it's worth the risk. Well, this is the bomb site to that to Fav 1, if I recall correctly. It was very it messy, is. but uh, they won it in the end. Attackers have located a bomb. Yes, it, uh, it was because they sort of all just funneled down logistics and just demolished the Mantis lineup. But like... Here we go. Afro has come in through cash. He's going to be entering construction in just a moment. And he might and catch. There we go. New York off guard. Yep. Now they know he's there. The Monty is going to drop in. No one's going to drop to support him. And here he goes, trying to draw out some shots. And that's going to call out for the second player. But Odin Misto is going to get taken out. Taipon has found one. And he's Ooh. going to get aggressive. Finds himself a second. Has to go pick up the fuser, though. Kareza did take out Hetty. And that leaves it all up to Sweet Black now. One on four. He's done this before from below as the smoke. But I, don't, I really wouldn't be surprised if he's allowed to do this again. In fact, Taipon going to go plant on the bed. Looks like yep. it's going to be pretty successful as Sweet Black just can't find this right angle. And there we go. Plant confirmed. So one on four and has to retake. 
To his advantage, Sweet Black has got K-Razor low, but I'd be very surprised if he's able to pull this off. In fact, it would probably have to be one of the best clutches. Yeah, so <laughs> he'll definitely have to clutch like a Fluke Meister if he's going to pull this off. But he's getting trackled. They know exactly where he is. They all just have to watch the stairwell. He's going to run all the way up. He gets spotted out. Located the diffuser. He is playing aggressive. That's one. He's only got three left to find. Puts a shot through, finds nothing. That Monty is playing havoc on him, though. There's the second. No, K-Razor wins it as he whiffs the shot. Bav Gaming take that round as well. As it seems like they can only take this one attack. Yeah, well, you know, that's the only attack they're going to have to take because now it's their turn to fend, unless they go to overtime, of course. Yeah, well, and that's going to have to be quite a strong defense showing as the half goes 2-4 to four to Mantis. Yeah, but, you know, it is a pretty defensive side of map. Well, tell that to our first match of the day. Yeah, well, tell that to the match that we saw as well <laughs> earlier. <laughs> um, but, all right, so we'll have to see how it plays out here. Um, I do agree with you. I think it's going to be more defender-sided as we are going to head down to the basement. Yeah, these teams both favouring to start off as downstairs as their number one bomb site choice. I think that's uh, pretty interesting. Especially, it's not something you normally see in the international scene either. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by Yeah, it's something that I still think... It's just a personal preference between cash and basement, in my opinion. It just yeah. goes between where you feel... Oh, uh, pardon me, where you feel the most comfortable. As hate kills for Shin, he has been popping off. Yeah, but, uh, you know, it's the old question of, are they impact frags? Well, they've only got two rounds, so he might be finding frags, but they're not winning the rounds, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, that is, you know, potentially it. He's, he's doing work, but it might not be the right work. You are right there. So, I'll have to see uh, whether Fav Gaming are going to be more comfortable on defense, but only time will tell. Looks like uh, Mantis have uh, got, gone for the Monty as well. 100% pick rate once again. Yeah, uh, was it 100% pick rate on the clubhouse map? The one that we watched? Yeah, I no, 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 it was uh, Monty Band. Monty Band. Yes. Okay, so... I think that... Uh, <laughs> Which ultimately didn't really help Oculus, to be honest, because yeah. they lost 7-0, but still... It'll be interesting to see how much this affects our region's ranked play as well. Are we going to see a lot of Monty on Clubhouse coming out? I think it's something that needs to be well coordinated, or else you're better off going with another fra like another fragging op. Like you're better off going with a another operator with fragging potential, should I say? Well, this oh Nova's just missed Afro there, I think, but um, pretty sure he has an inkling that he's there. Now he yes. has an inkling. This could do some serious damage. Maybe not. And they're going to hear that C4 as well. Like, surely he's Ooh. not going to be let in as k rays has gone down. In fact, he's just getting reset. Yeah, I wonder what took him low in the first place. Shin being pushed out here by the Monty. I think as soon as he runs down here, he's in for a world of hurt. We've got uh, an angle being watched down below. I can't quite see who that is, but uh, I think it might be the Thermo up on the stairs. Oh, oh this is a free wow. kill! Hetty looking what? the wrong way. Why was he even there? I think he must have heard the one that was in mini stock. Why was he even there? Shin gonna throw out some goo mines. Envy Taylor finds Afro in amongst all this, and Shin is still alive, dead, but no, yeah. he's gonna get dropped by Nelio. Hold on, no. Nelio gets himself a second. What a beautiful shot onto K Razor. Odin Misto down in the basement, though, and that leaves it a two versus four in favor of Mantis. Odin Misto on top on two anchors of smoke, and uh, Maestro gonna try and hold this one on out. Yep, and now Monty going to start pushing his way down blue as he did drop through the oil pit. They know exactly where he is. That smoke grenade coming out into the barbed wire. That is going to hurt Nova, oh. but he gets the bash straight into the face. Typhon's going to drop, but Envy Taylor is behind oh. it. Oh, no! Oh, just Odin Miso almost in a spot to clutch that. Nearly I, I need to see this. Oh, he shoots <laughs> him all the way into dirt. Oh, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> Oh, but no, Mantis just barely comes out with that as they almost, almost put Odin Miso in a spot to clutch it. Yep, just uh, pretty close with that team kill and the Monty being down, uh, but 
Church Arsenal room coming out once again. Oda Miso showing a dock. He's going to stick this one. Maybe going to go for a bit of a cheeky peeky. Is it going to be sixth pick? No, the mute's going to get sixth pick. Hitting, hiding in Ella. Hiding in Ella. Well. I'm very uh, interested to see what this Ella is going to be doing. I think it's more of not hiding the Ella, but making them think that there's a mute to contend with. Thinking that, you know, maybe they've gone for one of those upper bomb sites rather than downstairs. Well, they did pull out a very nice mute shield trick when they were defending Jim. Yeah. Um, where they put the mute jammer behind the shield. Yeah. So they couldn't take it out, but... Um, so yeah, I, re I really do think that it, it wasn't hiding the yellow, but more of showing a mute to try and sell a fake. But a fake's not really going to last too long, but, uh, you know, any small advantage can help. Yeah, especially when they're trying to decide their sick pick as well. If they think they're going to go upstairs, they can, of course, uh, you know, optimize their lineup for a bomb site that they're not going to be pushing, left. which could be a detriment. But I was really surprised about how long Shin stayed alive on this stairwell. Yes, me too. And the fact that he was allowed to pick up uh, Hedy on the Thermite for free. I really don't know why he ran. He, he was so looking aggressive. behind him because there was. Uh, I think someone was, was on blue stairs. Yeah, yeah, someone was on blue stairs. But like, why was he? Why was he that far up? If if he knew someone was on blue stairs, why didn't he back up a little bit? Why did he put himself between two known players? I think he might have realised someone was behind him <laughs> after he'd already moved up. That's the only no. reasonable explanation I can think of. Mm. But could have just been a bit of panic. Once again, we've got a very heavy presence up in cash. Yeah, Full on I, Rios and everything. This. This hole did rather well last time. It wasted a lot of time. It wasted a lot of Mantis' time. But that being said, they're, they're going to be able to see him through that <laughs> through that shield. They know he's there. And they've just given Nova a crouch hole so he doesn't have to vault through that window. That's always nice of them. Mm -hmm. And hello. Oh, he's going to get the frag there as well. Nova, Shin, just not able to respond to name for the head in time when the ADS comes on out. Attackers have located a bomb. Afro, Afro walks straight into Hetty, takes Fairmont. his head off. Again going early on. Yep, that's not good. They do, of course, still have the Maverick, oh. but it's going to severely limit it. Envy Taylor's walked all the way down this construction tunnel. Managed to find Odin Miso. That's not good news for their dock. But Nova, just going to find a couple of goo mines. They're going to be a little bit annoying. And it just looks like they're going to set up for their same push. At least they can say that he's not going to run into too many more goo mines because the uh, legion's already gone, so he wouldn't yeah. have had much time to put many out. That's true. And they've already got control of blue. They're going to start droning out the site. So we black coming down these main stairs. And Mantis here, they're set up for a very nice pinch from the three tunnels. Oh, yes, they are. I think K-Razor might have just seen something there, but uh, Attackers recovered the bomb. apparently not. Although the... Oh, Nova. Come on, face to face here. Here comes the With smoke. He's going to have to back out a little bit. That was a nice smoke to either force him forward or force him back. He does decide to go back. Nelio going to be droning out, though. And, oh, 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 that head. He's going to be sitting behind the Schmed box. He's not... He's going to have to get out of there. Typhon's found Sweet Black, though. That's a good kill for them as it does drop the ash. Oh. But oh, Nova made his way in. Didn't have any support, though, so he gets dropped and down. MV Taylor going to be holding this tight angle. He does get concussed by that Elamine as he walks in, though. Typon finds Nova. Afro finds MV Taylor, finally. And that leaves it up to Nelio. He's going to get dropped by K-Razor. And a successful defense from Fab finally comes out. Yeah, even though we saw Mantis get the first pick in that one, it was uh, Fab to come out on top, as they did hold that down a lot more convincingly, didn't they? Mr. Amfleet. Yes, they certainly did. So, a much, much better hold for them. Even though their roam still didn't work, their roam still got picked apart, and it was actually, their roam was less efficient this time than what it was in the time they lost that defense. So, I'm very interested to see, like, I'm very interested to see that their, their anchorage and the fact that, you know, they managed to get some of their roamers back down. I think the out. important part was the fact that we didn't see uh, the bandit go down for free in blue with yes. uh, Amonti just walking up to him and smashing, smashing him in the him. face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was hard to watch. Okay. You got to feel sorry for him at that point. Hey, yeah, it feels really hard to counter. Yeah, but we are going to go upstairs into cash this time around. We're bringing a castle. I don't think we've seen a castle on this defense just yet. Yeah, no, we haven't yet, have we? But we'll have to see oh, how I, it's I actually think we might have. I do. 
I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, it's not something I have the time to write down, and uh, yeah. sometimes memory fails in our old age. <laughs> You think that's funny? <laughs> You're not old. Hey? You're not old. Five yeah, look, it counts. <laughs> yeah, look, it. But it's the moustache. Yeah. If you shave that off, you look, you know, you're Def only Definitely not my, uh, you know, your increasing lack of hair. <laughs> 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 or just decreasing the amount of hair, I suppose, would be a better way to say that. But enough, enough about that. Let's focus up here, all right? Once again, we've got a Monty being... Uh, Picked up here, Nova still on that one. Certainly is, and you know, the Monty strat here going up this garage, this almost feels like it's just the default push for cash now at this point, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it forces its own metagame of who can, uh, you know, stop the Monty from getting up. And I think uh, Envy Taylor might be in with a uh, nice little position to take down Shin uh, at the back of Garage He's not here. careful. Ooh, he would have just seen his feet for sure. Ooh, Probably yes. not aware of it just because of oh. the angle. Oh, that's so close. <laughs> yeah. he, he doesn't want to play whack-a-mole. He's going to get on out of there, I reckon. Yeah, he probably doesn't feel as safe. When you see Maverick just opening up random holes, it's just sort of like, you don't really want to take it. That C4 is going to do nothing. Yeah. Nova backs out. K-Razor, though, going to find Nelio. That's the Zofia being dropped off the board. And it was actually interesting that Zofia, in the clubhouse I did earlier today, Zofia had zero impact, no matter which side was playing it. Look at all those uh, goo mines as well. That's going to be a, uh, well, a minefield for the Monty to walk through, isn't it? There's He's the first. Finds There's one, the finds second. a second. He's going to keep taking damage. He's got so far to walk as well to take him out. Yep. Yeah, K-Razor just not going to let him do that. And he almost loses half his health. Ooh. But, oh, Sweet Black, just not prepared for that. Like, k Razor literally just walked down as the Monty backed out. Default came still up as well. And that's probably what allowed uh, k Razor to get that kill. Yeah, probably. As they weren't aware for that. Envy Taylor out on this balcony, though. You know, if we're going to find k Razor finally. But look at that. He's so oh, another low. Another one. He's on about 15 health now. He is so low, he probably needs reset, and here comes Shin. He's not going to be able to find the angle he looks. he's Bob looking for. He's going to have to go up that oil pit if he wants to find it. I have you covered. But that's going to be dangerous because he can't guarantee where the enemy is. Oh. And now he can hear one. He oh, see please, he, he sees see the it. weapon. He sees the weapon. Just patience coming out. Oh, he knows. Reset. He whiffs the shot. Shin's going to have to back out. Envy Taylor hears it and goes, hang on, what's this? Going to get reset, though. Ooh, that was uh, pretty 20. close, wasn't it? It was very close. 20 seconds left, 3v4, as the three men of Mantis are ready to plant. The plant's going to come down. The C4 comes out, misses oh. everything. Odin Miso oh. gets the knife on the heady. Now they're in control of the diffuser, but Nova is going to get us a, uh, a shield whack of himself. He's the only one up left. Five seconds. He can't go for the revive. He's going to go for the kill credit, but in the back, <sighs> Fav. I'm out on top on that one, and I feel like going for the revive was by far the wrong call. I think he decided to go for the frags and thought that the castle was still up or something. That, that's my best guess. And he decided, all right, I have to go for frags, but uh, I don't know. You, you can't really fault him at that point because very little chance he's going to win it anyway. But uh, we have seen a great fight back here from Fav on defense so far. Yeah, we certainly have. As we go into our 10th round, they're, you know, 4-5 down. So they've managed to crawl this back from a 2-4. to four. Yes. Mantis only picked up one round so far. Surely that fuse is going to get sick picked off. Or and that's a way to sick pick it. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course, of yeah. course. That's a, that's a good way to sick pick off the fuse. But, no, guys, as we do actually just have to get Envy Taylor back into the game. Uh... You know, you do get to see our pretty faces. So. Hi. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> no, so as you said, Mance is having a very difficult time cracking this nut that is uh, Fav's defense at the moment. They've managed to pick up one attacking round, but so far, as you predicted, this has been a very defensive half. Yes. Um, looking forward, though, to this round, if the fuse was what we were meant to see, how are we going to see that used on the gym bedroom? There's lots of ways you can use it on the gym bedroom. Between the all the windows, 
Um, there's not really much you can use it on the roof anymore. I was thinking maybe the hatch and removed, logistics is like the only part I could see it. Yeah, it could get used on the windows, particularly if they're castled, but that depends more on the enemy team than yours. If it's a wooden barricade, it's a death sentence, yes, right? Yes, like, it's suicide. Uh, yeah, I, so I, I don't think it's a particularly... Th that's why I was. That's why I was certain that it was going to get six picked off. Yeah, seeing I, it, you're like they're hiding something with that fuse. It's just a matter of what we think they're going to be hiding. Um, yeah, unless there was like you know he was he'd already left the game and it was just auto assigned to Fine him. Yeah. To a role, yeah, that could be. It Seems like I always get auto assigned fuse. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> really, when I get auto assigned things, it's normally like capital. Yeah. Yeah, I get a lot of capital from auto assigned. So, but all right, oh. we are ready and we are back into it. And Envy Taylor, he did actually pick the fuse. I actually think he's, uh, I actually think he has to pick the fuse. Okay, <laughs> because it to did. the Maverick. Yeah, I actually think he has to pick the fuse because when we do a rehost, it has to be the same operators in the same sites. So I'm fairly certain that he does have to pick that fuse and use the sixth pick. So it was too bad if they were going to sixth pick into something else, but, you know. Yeah, well, um, as for the lineup, we're going to see a Capital out for Nilio. Yeah, and we are seeing a castle, as we said. If you were going to fuse anything, it would have to be in a castle window. But, no, they're not going to go for that. It fuse still anyway, feels like, fairly pointless. Yeah, like, uh, I agree with you. It does. It's not the, um... It's not the most... It's not the most logical operator take on this bomb site. Well, yeah, it's just not an operator we see at high level play pretty much full stop. Like, it's... Uh, is Jeebus' uh, casual operator. games? <laughs> is Jeebus' casual games a high level game? No. <laughs> that's, the, that's the answer, no. It's, it's it's an operator that you know you don't really see as effective at high level. So it's if, you know, I'd be pretty surprised if we did see it come out. And you feel like if it is gonna come out, it's gonna be for a very specific purpose. Yeah, absolutely it is. But K Razor is just gonna smack this a couple of times. Maybe try and uh Get Mantis a little bit off guard if they go and smack it once and the whole wall just collapses. They could be caught off guard, but we'll have to see how it goes. Nova not going to be able to jump this uh, shield just yet. Here comes the gas grenade. He is going to get a lot of wow. damage taken onto him. That was a beautifully paced gas, babe. Wowee. He can't uh, suffer through that again as well. That's a thermite charge placed on the ground. To oh. blow up a... Uh, Barely the gets bottom out. of the wall. I like that. Yeah, Afro is not feeling comfortable. That's all three gas babes being used in less than a minute. Ooh. The shield's coming out. Nova gets shot into the side. Afro's taken a world of hurt. His life will be forfeited at this point. It's just going to happen. But no, Typonga picks up Sweet Black. Nova finally gets rid of Afro. But where was that from? Ooh, that took a lot of damage. Was that... Angle and a half. Wait, yeah, that was through two walls. Yeah, I, th I thought Ooh. it was the smoke that got that kill, but uh, no, it was top on at range from construction. That is an that is an angle and a half. Through two walls, they are going to reset the Monty. Nova's going to get himself a second chance at life. Well, one for one so far. Sweet black for Afro. Of course, that was the smoke off the board, but he'd used all he'd, his babes. He'd so. used all his utility, and in my opinion... One man for two minutes is well and truly worth it. Plus the amount of damage they're able to put down on the Monty. Of course, he's managed to get some of that back, but still, the Monty is an operator that can be very hard to do damage to. Yes, he can. So the fact they got rid of his revive as well is very, very important. Taipon holding an angle here. Not going to be able to find anything. Hedy finds Shin, though, is I think Shin was just getting ready to vault out. And, oh, this is oh! a lot of pressure. Odin Miso finds Hedy, but Nova gets a smack onto Taipon. These aggressive Monty players are coming out huge. They're getting shot from the bathroom. Odin Miso gets himself a second one. It's a C4 kill onto Nova, and that brings it down to a two versus two. Capital bolts coming out. K-Rays picks up MV Taylor. It's all up to Nilio. The smoke bolts come out, so he's only got 20 seconds left. He has the fuser in tow, though. He's going to attempt to plant here, but no, he fakes it, and Fav have to now try and stop it. Nilio picks up one. That's Odin Miso off the board. K Raise is going oh, downstairs. Slither of health. He still has his C4. Can he do it? Can he stop it? Three seconds left. Nelio has to go for the plan. It's in the corner behind the shield. K Razor. He's going to have to make it up. I think he's going to get the plant, and this is going to be K Razor going down if he's not ready. He sees oh! it all over. Nelio wins the fight. Mantis come out with that attacking win. Wow, Mantis. They. Uh... 
probably pretty lucky to pick that one up there. Fav, they shouldn't have had their mirror go down so early and so easily, leaving K Razor with just a sliver of HP. He went too far away with too little info on site to allow him to use that C4 from below properly. And even though Nilio gave up his position, he just needed one bullet to finish it, and he got it, and that was Mantis putting themselves onto match point. He didn't even need a bullet. He could have breathed on him and he would have died. <laughs> like, it was just... He had no health whatsoever. He had one foot in the coffin and yeah. the other one almost <laughs> there. Yeah, basically. But we are going to go back down into the basement where Mantis did win one attack, but then Fav showed them, you know, how you hold it. So, it could go either way here. Yeah, well, it is Fav down four to six. They're going to have to win these next two to take it to overtime and then uh, win a few more if they want to have a chance to take in this map. Whereas... Mantis have been there sitting pretty. Yeah, well, cash opens up for them after this as well. So, you know, they can go from basement straight to cash. They did win both of those bomb sites. So yes. if they win this one, you can argue that they will win cash. Well, I don't know. You can always say that, you know, past performance is an indicator of future performance. But then on the flip side of that, past performance is not always an indicator of future performance. That is true. Anything can happen in Siege. And that's one of the reasons why Siege is such a fantastic game. Oh, yeah. anything can happen. But we are going to see that Monty still here. I'm actually really I'm really interested in why Monty for basement is such a strong pick as well. Like, still I feel a 100% like pick rate, isn't it? It is. It's a 100% pick rate. But I feel like... I feel like you're better off with a rifle. On basement? Yeah, on the basement attack. Right? I can see why you want Monty for the upstairs attacks. I can. I can understand it. I can sympathize with it. I can see it. I think you're better off with the extra fragging power when you're attacking the basement. Well, we still haven't had a win. Oh, wait, yes, the first round was a win on attacking basement, wasn't it? It was for Mantis. So, you know, they could potentially bring it out again. Is this the double tack pause? Potentially. Interesting. But both teams wanting that tack pause. Mantis really want to find this round victory. Of course, it does give them the map if they win this round. Of course, of course. As we are going to be loading in, well, locking in operators, I should say. We've still got a sick pick phase to potentially uh, change our recipe up here. We certainly do. Thermite gets confirmed. Ooh, Ash to Dokubi. Yes, Ash to Dokubi. I don't know. I suppose if you want some smokes more than what the Monty has. Defenders, protect your bombs. I think like that's I interesting. Maybe that. they're going to be using it to flash out Romers, but are we going to have Romers? I mean, Fav have been very strong on their Rome game when they're holding the basement. you gotta, you got to say it's just something for the execute. You know, your phone starts buzzing in your pocket. It's just another thing to worry to about. To worry about, yeah. That is it. That is it. Well, in terms of raw fragging power, you'd say Ash is probably better. Yes, much better. Well, the SMG-12 up close can be lethal, uh, but, you know, Ash's uh, R4C is... And the fact that she's the three-speed. Yeah. Three-speeds are always good. Ten seconds remaining. Always. Um, as for the attacking operators, of course, we already touched on the Monty getting forced out. We've, I think, also 100% pick rate we've had uh, Maverick. Yeah, so far we have. You're right. Maverick has been a very, very strong operator on Clubhouse so far. Being able to deal with uh, traditionally annoying walls, especially with uh, especially with Thatcher being taken off the board, Thatcher being banned out. Well, that's a very early thermite charge on the kitchen. Wow, wow. not even a chance to yeah. trick it because it's just before anyone can be ready for it on the defense. Although um, that was sort of caught. A little bit unaware, I think, there. Pins down. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not quite sure that they oh, were... this is very quick. Yeah, I'm not quite sure whether they were ready for that aggression in that plan, but Monty's going to push his way in. That's two smoke babes that's been used sub one minute. Yeah, within the first 45 seconds. So, still a few choke points that uh, Mantis have to get through here, but they've um, gained a lot of ground very early on. Yeah, and that was the third gas babe, I believe. No, it was a legion mine that got tossed. Yes, Legion Mine, and then we're going to see uh, 
follow up of a couple of impacts as Envy Taylor is going to find the first frag on Shin on this. Uh, watching that, uh, watching that cross. The rotate, yeah, it's a very common spot to hold that rotate from. And oh, Hodamiso is going to see the thermite charge opening up the floor. Here comes the logic bomb, though. Can't quite deny it. Yes, Monty's walked onto the bomb site. He's surely calling out the position of Odomiso. In fact, he's going to take some shots. Looks up through the hole again. Just looks away at the wrong time, but he's still not dead. k is going to find one. Typhon's also found Hetty. This quick play hasn't really worked out, and Sweet Black still not managing to find these shots. How has he? Oh, no. How is he still alive? Odin Miso, where are your nine lives, friend? He's shooting blanks. K Razor takes out Nilio, and that just leaves Envy Taylor and Maverick left alive. Sweet Black still on that Dokumi, though, as well. Envy Taylor choosing to come down blue, but he gets stunned up by that Elamine. The Grismot's coming in big here. Yeah, this is really falling apart for me, and these players are going to have to frag out if they want to take this round. Logic Bomb's going to go on out, though. It's just going to get their phones a-buzzing in their pockets, and Envy Taylor is going to try and sneak his way in as K-Rays is going to finish off. Sweet Black Afro on to Envy Taylor, and we are going to survive uh, for another round for Fav. Yeah, Fav keep their map one dreams alive here, and... You know, go on the full, go on the full 12. Whether or not we'll go the full 14, we'll have to wait and see. And I would definitely like to. Potentially full 15, Mr. Infleet. Yeah, well, yeah, actually, that would be, that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, we've had quite a few overtimes already today. What's uh, wrong with some more, hey? That's it. And let's not forget that Mantis and Fab have a bit of a history, and it wasn't close. Yep. Last time, last time they met, uh, granted they met two years ago, right? The last time these two teams played together, played each other, should I say, was two years ago. Probably more like a year, year, year and, and, and a half ago. Yeah, yeah year <laughs> and a half ago. So, but that is a long, long time, right? That is a very long time. Both those lineups look very different. Yeah, yeah Mantis have, have a core well, three still, but remaining from there. Fav is just Odin, Miso, and Shin. Yep. So... Very, very different lineups, and Mantis was demolished. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a little bit of a chip on the shoulder for Mantis at this point, but Fav just I think they really just eyes focused on that invitational. But Mantis, they've also got their eyes on that invitational spot. They want to go represent Korea. As, well, you know, Japan already has a representative. They've had two chance, or well, this is their second chance to close it out, isn't it? Certainly is. Norway secure. Certainly Five is seconds. indeed. And this castle just going to be cutting the maps off. Very, very interesting choice of where they've chosen to castle off there. That blue wa that blue door actually surprised me a little bit. Really? It's pretty... Okay, not the blue door, but the uh, door from lounge into Ch bar. Pretty yes, stock standard. That stock standard, but that blue, the one onto blue was a little bit interesting. Here we go. Envy Taylor once again uh, daring the defenders to play whack-a-mole with his head. Over on the garage's head, he's going to open it up nice and early on. Looks like they're aware of the position of the lesion. There's only one mine there so far, but, you know, as the more the round goes on, the more that's going to stack up there. Yeah, that's it. He just has to sit tight, and he will have more and more defense as the round goes on. That's... One of the great things about Legion, he can hold he can hold a small corridor like this, essentially infinitely if they're just going to stare at him. And he's, <laughs> perfectly, he's perfectly fine with that, to be honest. As far as he's aware, the Monty can just sit there all game. He does not mind at all. Ooh. But k Rays is going to find Sweet Black. That is a really, really nice pickup that Ash is going to have to sit down. That's the second time that's happened, too. Yeah, that's the second time that's happened oh, underwear, oh, but Nilio on that Zofia has stayed alive a little bit longer than the average Zofia so far on this map. Oh yeah, it looks like Monty's uh, starting to get a uh, feel that he wants to start moving up these stairs. Of course, still plenty of mines to contest with the Shin's going to find Nilio, and we're going to see the uh, impacts tossed on out. Yep, Nilio takes, uh, sorry, Nova takes very little damage off that, Whoa. but oh, just barely missing him. Envy Taylor not feeling particularly happy with that, I don't think. But Nova's going to take care of K-Razor on his own right there. But Monty is now stepping into a world of pain of those goo mines. No one's going to be able to punish him as he takes him out. But Afro is in a good spot for a potential flank. Yeah, he can start this flank at any moment. But he's just waiting for the opportune moment. That's it. He does just need to wait. Ooh. There is, of course, someone at the bottom of that garage. 
as MV Taylor slowly making his way in. Not going to count it as safe just yet. He does have a Monty. He's pulled up there. He's going to hold it. Ooh, he nice manages shot. to find the headshot onto Afro, which is all he needed. That gas babe coming out, putting a bit more damage down onto Nova, but not too much. C4 misses onto Wasted. Hetty. Yeah, a bit of a waste there, but that does make it a three versus three, all said and done. Flashback. We're going to see uh, some of this utility get used up. No ADSs to worry about, of course, as they're going to run right onto the bomb site. Hetty's going to start that plant. Nova's lucky to still be alive with the amount of HP he's got left. So, oh, Envy Taylor's just going to miss the shots. Another enemy detected outside. I don't think they can stop this plant. In fact, they have, sorry. Oh, there we go. It's going to be Envy Taylor and Hetty with one, but I believe the Monty's down. In fact, indeed it is. Up to type on, but has he got any gas babes left? No, he Holding doesn't. the angle. Envy Taylor's got a lockdown, and that's Mantis taking the victory. Yeah, I really feel like. You know, we are watching him hit. That's like needed to go around the side, right? Like he needed to go around the other side. They were holding that angle a bit too well. But yes. Mantis, that was a good push from them. Really, really good take of that top stairs. It finally worked out. It really felt like um, that Favre were in control of that whole round until the last couple of seconds there. Until they weren't. <laughs> until they weren't. <laughs>